this is a skeleton equation we are going to balance. It is a reaction between ethane and oxygen. So the reaction is a combustion reaction. Now there are three elements on the reactants and three elements on the products of which they form two compounds. So if you pick carbon, it forms a single compound on the product side. And if you pick hydrogen, it forms a single compound on the right side, which is water. Whereas oxygen, on the other hand, forms two compounds. The first one is carbon dioxide, which contains oxygen. And the second one is water, again, which contains oxygen. So whenever you're balancing an equation using trial and error, the first element to pick would be the element that forms a single compound. So it could either be carbon or hydrogen. I'm going to pick carbon in this case, and I'm going to balance carbon on the left and the right. So if you look on the left, I have two carbons. So I'm going to put a two on the right. So the number of carbon atoms on the left and the right are balanced. Let's look at hydrogen. There are six hydrogens on the reactant side, and there are just two hydrogens on the product side. So if I multiply it by the coefficient three, three times two makes it six hydrogen. So three times two, the subscript of hydrogen is equals to six hydrogen atoms. So I have balanced the carbon. I have two carbons here, six hydrogens on the right. On the left, I have two carbons here and six hydrogens. The next thing that we have to balance is oxygen. Since oxygen forms two compounds, we will count the total number of oxygen molecules that are present in the product side. I would prefer to count it as atoms rather than molecules. So if I look at this coefficient 2 and multiply it by this 2, which is a subscript for oxygen, I will get four oxygen atoms present in carbon dioxide. Similarly, in water, the coefficient is 3 and the subscript of oxygen is 1. Therefore, 3 times 1 is equal to 3 oxygen atoms. So here I have 2 times 2 makes it 4 oxygen atoms. And here on the right, I have 3. So totally, there are 7 oxygen atoms on the product side. Now, oxygen is a diatomic molecule, as it is evident from here. So I can never have 7 oxygen atoms. So I have to deal with it. So what I normally do is I put the coefficient 7 here, which makes the number of oxygen atoms on the reactant side actually 14. 7 times 2 is equals to 14. But I don't need 14. I just need half of it. So I'm going to divide it by 2. So if you divide the 7 by 2, now I have actually 7 oxygen atoms on the reactant side. So, potentially, the equation is balanced, but the coefficients are fractions. So, the next thing we will do is change it into a completely balanced equation using whole numbers for coefficients. If I need to lose this 2, all I have to do is multiply this equation by 2. So, if I put a 2 here, I can also multiply the oxygen by 2, 2 times 7, which means this 2 and this 2 cancels out. And I can multiply here by 2, making it 4 carbon dioxide. Multiply this by 2, makes it, making it 6 water molecules. So the reaction can be re rewritten like this. Now we have a completely balanced equation. So every time you have a hydrocarbon with even number of carbon atoms, you can adopt this method. For a hydrocarbon with odd number of carbon atoms, you will never encounter this situation. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.